you about what I packed for my trip to Banff. Um, if you don't know, Banff is a beautiful national park in Canada, and we've been dying to go here for a long time now, um, especially Crystal. She's been wanting to go forever, so we're finally making it happen. And the trickiest part was uh, packing. Um, we're both from uh, southern regions. I'm flying in from Southern California, Crystal from Southern Florida. So we're used to pretty much nice warm weather all year round. And Banff, Canada, it is a mountainous region, so it is gonna have fluctuating temperatures, um, possible rain or snow, and it might be really, really cold. <laughs> so the reason why it was tricky is because we're going during a transitional season. Um, we're going end of August to beginning of September, so it's not quite, you know, midsummer anymore. It's like kind of like the end of summer, beginning of fall. Um, so you really don't know how the how cold it's going to be and how warm it's going to be. So we're guessing that at first we're guessing after while we're following the weather a little bit, um, you know, it's going to be chilly in the mornings, maybe in the 70s during the day, and then pretty cold at night. But we just checked the weather. Um, this week and it's pretty much gonna be really cold in the mornings, uh, snowing during the day, and really cold at night. I get a little bit nervous when it's cold just because I don't want to get sick because uh, I'm not used to cold weather. So I really really um, plan out my packing, like what I'm gonna wear and pack so, I, so I'm not cold and freezing and so I don't catch a cold because I didn't pack properly or I didn't dress properly. So um, it is a trip, we're leaving on Wednesday, coming back Monday, so it's a pretty long trip, not quite a week, but it's also not a quick weekend getaway. And I always like to challenge myself whenever it's a trip that's under a week to see if I can fit it all into one carry-on suitcase. Um, I do have the bigger carry-on suitcase, so if I bought my small one, I definitely could not you know, fit all my outfits into a small carry-on, but for my bigger carry-on, I was able to pack um, all my outfits and um, so I'm going to tell you what I packed. Uh, for when I leave Wednesday and come back Monday, I'm going to wear the same outfit. So I'm just going to be flying all day anyways. And I don't think my outfit's <laughs> going to get dirty. So, um, so for those two days, I'm only needing to pack one outfit. Actually, I'm not packing it. I'm going to be wearing it. So I don't even need to pack you know, for two days worth of clothes. So really, I'm only packing for four days. So four outfits. Um, so I packed four tops and two bottoms. And two bottoms are leggings, but also um, I packed uh, innerwear, Heat Tech inner leggings. So really like three pants, but the innerwear is super light. It really doesn't take up much room in the suitcase. Um, and the tops, I packed uh, two sweatshirts and two sweaters, um, and also three innerwear Heat Tech. Um, tops, long sleeve tops. So, and like a, again, like those underwear tops, they don't take up much room, but they also, but they're extremely warm, and they really do work with your body temperature. So I always pack my heat tech underwear um, whenever I go to cold climates. Um, also, I don't when I pack my tops, um, sweaters especially, I like to either pack. Um, wool or cashmere because they are a lot warmer than packing acrylic or cotton. Um, another thing I packed was um, travel, not travel, <laughs> winter accessories. Um, so I packed, I didn't pack a hat because I'm bringing a heavy coat. My heavy coat has a footie. So I packed um, headbands um, that, you know, that cover my ears. And I also packed gloves, but I didn't really pack that. I'm just like sticking that inside the pockets of my, um, my heavy coats. And I think that's it. Um, oh, you know, besides the other things that I think everyone always packs anyways um, without really thinking about it, socks, toiletries, undergarments, and those don't really take up too much room. So really uh, the key thing for me was to uh, be able to find tops and bottoms that I can mix and match easily so I don't have to pack actually four, you know, pairs of pants. Um, because I wouldn't have, have had room for that. I actually could pack less tops if I wanted to wear the same top for two days, but because I still had room in my luggage, um, I decided to go ahead and pack four tops. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So that's how I accomplished packing um, all of my outfits into my bigger carry-on suitcase. 
And now off to Canada we go, I'm so excited. So I'm back from my Banff trip and I think I did really well as far as packing appropriately or packing really warm for this trip. And I'm just gonna show you kind of the things that I brought that I'm glad that I brought. And there was one thing in particular that I didn't bring that I forgot to bring, um, but Crystal brought it. So um, I'm glad that she remembered to bring it because without that it would have been kind of a hassle shooting and uh, capturing all those beautiful photos and uh, bam. So the first thing I brought that I'm, I always bring on every trip and I'm glad that I brought on this trip is my bandolier case. And this is um, a phone case where you stick your phone in there and in the back there's like a little slot where you can put your cards. And then if you want, this is like um, additional, you can add a little pouch to it where you know you can put other cards, cash, change, even a passport will fit inside of it. But the great thing about this is that you wear it like a purse. And so whenever you want to capture a photo, you just kind of grab your phone and then you can put your phone back down and you don't have to ever worry that if the phone did slip out of your hand, it's gonna drop because it's secured around you. So the next thing that um, I brought that I'm glad that I did was my headbands. It was really, really cold um, in Banff, so having these headbands were great. And also they don't take up much room in your suitcase. So if you don't like wearing hats, and you want to try something different, I recommend bringing uh, these headbands. The third thing I brought that I'm glad that I brought, and I bought this last minute, was um, leg warmers. I bought these on Amazon, I think for like eight bucks. Um, but these were great for those really chilly mornings or even like when we took the gondola, <laughs> the gondola up on um, up to the summits. Oh my gosh, it was so cold up there. But having like leg warmers over my boots, it really did like add that extra warmth because the cold air wasn't getting inside of my boots at all from the top. So having these leg warmers really, really helped. And you know, during the day if I want to take them off, they're easy to take off and I can just put them in my backpack. Um, so those were awesome. I liked having those leg warmers with me. And um, of course, you know, bring a down coat. It's really, really cold in the mornings and up in the summits because during the transitional season, it's almost like it's w like dead winter in the mornings and at night. Um, there's no snow. Well, actually, it snowed once when we went to Lake Louise early in the morning for the sunrise. I think it was like between 6 and 6.30, but it was snowing and uh, it was really, really cold. Luckily, the snow stopped and um, we were able to capture a really, really beautiful sunrise. And I also bring this on my trips. This is my um, pack safe anti-theft anti security backpack. And um, with a lot of hiking and walking around downtown, it's nice that you, that you know, I'm having a backpack that is, that has anti-theft features, so I don't have to worry about getting pickpocketed. Not that Banff is really an area where pickpocketing is common. Actually, I don't even know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it does happen, but it's not common there. Regardless, I just like to feel um, that peace of mind that I don't have to worry about not being able to see what's behind me. So having, you know, anti-theft features on my backpack really, really helps. And I also like this bag because there's this, there's two pockets on the side where I can always keep a bottle of water with me, especially like when it's cold during the winter months, you really need to stay hydrated. Um, it's, I mean, I grew up always being told that staying hydrated helps you from not getting sick. Not that you won't get sick, but the chances of getting sick are less if you stay hydrated. So I always have a bottle of water with me. Okay, so the only thing that I forgot to bring, which uh, Crystal remembered, are fingerless gloves. Um, especially because we take so much photos and video, and we're always on our phones, like, you know, capturing everything that we're constantly um, needing to take off our gloves. And I uh, forgot to bring my fingerless gloves, and it was such a house every time I wanted to take a picture, remove my gloves, stick it in my pockets, and Thankfully, I didn't lose my gloves or happen to drop it somewhere, um, and I was okay. <laughs> um, but every time Crystal, you know, we were out, I was like, oh man, I wish I brought my fingerless gloves because she was able to like, you know, keep her hands warm and also shoot away or do whatever she was doing with, you know, hassle-free. So that was the only thing I forgot to bring that I wish I would have brought. And um, I hope these tips help you. And again, I went during the end of August, beginning of September, which was the Labor Day weekend. And um, yeah, it is very cold in the mornings. Um, actually pretty nice temperatures during the day um, when we were around downtown Banff. But anytime we're on the lakes or up in the summits, um, 
it was pretty cold so you definitely want to dress like you are going into winter and um, that's it so um, I hope you get to go to Banff because it is, it is beautiful there and we're actually wanting to return um, and we want to go a little bit further into the National Park and visit Jasper next time. Mm -hmm.